evening today we will be discussing on self adjoint operator so we already discussed that if a is any bounded linear transformation from x to y such that there exist a bounded linear linear transformation b from y to x such that inner product of ax comma y is equal to inner product of x comma by then this b is called the adjoint of a now what is self adjoint self adjoint is itself it says everything that if the adjoint and is equal to its own operator then we will call that operator as self adjoint operator for example if tx comma y is equal to x comma t star y what is t star here t star is the adjoint of t so if t star is equal to t then it, this operator is called self adjoint operator now when theorem is related to self adjoint operator we can prove this and this is a task for you to exam find the example of self adjoint operator and if you find it please comment below now the theorem says that the set of all self adjoint operator is closed real space of bh what is bh here bh is all the bounded linear transformation on hilbert space i repeat bh symbolizes here all the bounded linear transformation on hilbert space now to prove this to prove this statement it's quite very simple if we prove this first what we have to do is that first we have to prove the that the set what we will be considered consider which is the set of all self adjoint operator will be a real subspace and then we will try to prove it's closed now let us start to prove that the set s let us symbolize that the set s set s is the set of all self adjoint operator so what is the criteria for being s to s to be self adjoint set of all self um, set of all self adjoint operator that whatever the linear bounded transformation will consider it will be equal to its adjoint it means that s will be equal to the set of all the linear bounded linear transformation such that t star is equal to t now first what we have to prove i already state that uh, we have to prove that s is the subspace we have to prove that s is the subspace of bh real subspace of bh to prove subspace what we need that we take two element and after that we uh, multiply it with some alpha and we saw that the sum of that two product will is also element of that and we hence prove that it's a subspace so will same concept is applied here let t1 comma t2 will be the element of s what is what does it say if t1 and t2 is the element of s then it says that t1 is equal to t1 star and t2 is equal to t2 star why because it belongs to s and s is what all the set of all the linear bounded transformations such that t star is equal to t now to show that what we to show that s is a subspace of bh we have to show that alpha t1 we have to show that alpha t1 plus beta t2 is the element of s and alpha beta are scalars in real field why we have taken real field because we have to prove that it's a real subspace of bh so alpha beta that we have considered are scalars in r <coughs> sorry so now let us take alpha t1 plus beta t2 
x, comma y, which will give us what it will give alpha t one x comma y plus beta t two x comma y. These are the simple operations, and take our alpha common, then we will get that um, um, t one x comma y plus beta t two x comma y. Now. Now, from here, what we can do? Alpha x t1 star y plus beta x t2 star y. Now, we know that t1 is a self-adjoint operator and t2 is a self-adjoint operator. So, what we can write? x comma t1 y plus beta x comma t2 y. Now, taking inside, what we get is that x comma alpha bar t1 y plus x comma beta bar t2 y. And what we know that alpha and beta are the element of R. So, alpha will be equal to alpha bar and beta will be equal to beta bar. So, what we can write x comma alpha t y plus x comma beta t2 y then we'll get x is comma alpha t1 plus beta t2 y so what we observe that we have taken the operator alpha 1 alpha t1 plus beta t2 and we get its adjoint is, is, is equal to itself so we say that alpha t1 plus beta t2 is the element of s now this was the proof to prove to prove that um, it's a real subspace of bh now we have to prove that it is closed to prove anything closed i already have said that to prove that a subspace is closed we take any sequence from that and we we show that it converges to a limit point and that limit point is the element of is the limit point of that space so what we have to take we have to take any sequence that is conversion sequence and whatever the limit will come that limit will lie in that space itself so what we will do we will consider for closed to prove that subspace is closed what we will do We'll take Tn is a self adjoint operator such that Tn tends to T. If Tn tends to T, then we have to show that for being this set close, being to show to show as closed we need to show that t is the element of s now we have we have already considered that tn is the element of s now it converges to a point t and we will see that t is also the element of s if we are able to show that t is the element of s then we can say that s is closed to show that t is closed what i will do let us take norm of t minus t star okay let us consider norm of t minus t star to prove that t is in s what we need to do we need to show that t is equal to t star. To show that t is in S, we need to only show that t is equal to t star. So, what we will do, we will take the norm of t minus t star. Then, by some ad adjustment, what we can write? t minus tn plus tn minus tn star 
plus T n star minus T star norm. Okay. And now this will be equal to norm of T minus T n plus norm of T n minus T n star plus T n star minus T star. Okay. So see I already said that T n converges to T. So definitely this will converge to zero. This will converge to zero and and about this Tn minus Tn star will also converge to zero because we already said that Tn is a self adjoint operator and then Tn will be equal to Tn star. So by that it will also converge to zero. So the left is that it is lesser or equal to Tn star minus T star. Now by applying the property of um, adjoint we can write that this will be lesser or equal to Tn minus T whole star. Okay. Now we already saw, um, we already seen, we have already seen that this converges to zero. It means that this will converge to zero. It means that norm of t minus t star converges to zero. Hence we can say that, hence t converges to t star. Therefore, T is a self adjoint operator. And T is the element of S. So, we were able to prove that T is also present in S and hence it is a self adjoint operator and hence we can um, we have been able to prove that S is also closed. So this was the simple theorem related to self adjoint operator. Hope you like this video. Subscribe to my channel or like karne mein kuch nahi banta hai yaar. Please like kar do. Guys, apna dhyan rakho aur kuch bhi ho. Let's prove it.